In this video, I'm installing Mocha at two places. Why Mocha? is because it saves money and time instead of installing CAT6 or Fiber. After my experience of this, would I recommend other people try Mocha? Absolutely. With Mocha version 2.5, the transfer speed is up to 2.5 gigabits per second, and the installation is simple and clean. There will likely be a second video of one more Mocha installation, and a more detailed list of opinions I think Mocha could become better at. Let's start with my first experience installing Mocha. So I found this unit because it has dual gigabit ethernet ports built into this unit. I prefer that instead of having this box and a switch, it's one less thing. So you can build up to 16 of these units, so you can build a pretty big network with them. This standard version 2.5 supports up to 2.5 gigabits per second. That is the total bandwidth. It's if you're thinking about the olden days of network when you had hubs and not switches, they had a total bandwidth of 10 megabit or 100 megabit or same with the use the old coaxial networks. And these models support supports up to one gigabit. So it's, it's good enough for 98% of the people. A good thing to also note about these technologies is that it adds a few milliseconds when they're converting the signals to coaxial and back. With this system, included in the box, it was these two units. As you have the two Ethernet ports, the power is 5 volt. And here's the, if you put it in like in series, you can have the TV signals, normal TV signals in here and the, with the internet here. But with this Mocha, do not collide with the TV signals, so you can still have them in the cables. In the system, because I imported it from United States, because I wanted this model with two Ethernet ports, it comes with these American adapters. So I hope it will work with phone chargers that I have here. Power cables and it comes with also with two Ethernet cables and two of these antenna cables, these are F connectors. Also comes with a manual. It apparently also works if you have doxies in the network. So this is how the network looks for me. The antenna cable comes in here and then it splits with a tap splitter. So it puts a little bit of the signal one way and most of the signal another way. And here's the two-way splitter. Here I have the ethernet close by. It goes up to a three-way splitter, then goes to a two-way splitter and to the outlet. So I have to replace these splitters. And also I will put here on the antenna cable where it comes in, I will put they call a PoE point of entry filter, mocha filter, that blocks these signals going out to neighbors. And then I have this tap filter. This I think this was minus 11 decibels on this tap out here, but this is minus 10, so I think it's good enough. And why I have to replace this is because these ones only support up to like 860 megahertz and this mocha technology uses up to 1600 or something like that so all these filters need to have support above that and this tap filter supports up to 2000 megahertz so that will be there and i have this three-way splitter supports up to 2400 so i put that there and have a golden one. Because internet comes here, I will connect the mocha to this split two-way splitter. So I need one way in here. With this, I will change the uh, decibel signals out on these other ones, but I hope it will work. And yes, this one's already supports up to 2400. So I will move this one to here where the outlet is. And I will need to replace the outlet. And I will put this one here, the antenna cable in there, and here is the F connector, where the other box, other box will be. So this is antenna cable, the mocha box, and the three-way splitter there. You can say like that, and I will put that there, and F cable between there, and then the other box there and with the other cable there in between. 
So here we have the box where the internet is going to come into with a two way split that I will move to another place. Now I'm done here. Mocha unit is installed. Three way splitter here, the new one. So now I can close the lid and on to the next place. So now it's installed here. See a new splitter here, the tap splitter. And here's the incoming. Now it comes in here, and here we have the PoE point of entry filter for the mocha filter. On to the next. So here's the last box. I will replace splitters. So now these are replaced. It went easier than I thought in this small place with these thick cables. On to the outlet. And the last step here replace the old one with the new one. Now I'm finished at all places and connected it here, but sadly no mocha light. Time for troubleshooting. The good thing with these mocha units is that it's USB powered, so where I don't have any power with the mocha splitters, I can just connect it to the laptop and power it that way and find the mocha signal. I found the problem. I found that it was this that was the issue. I have tightened that screw too much, so it was probably grounding out the signal wire inside, but now it works. At first I believed maybe it was this outlet, the new outlet that didn't pass through the signal, so I took this cable and just pushed it right into the Mocha adapter here. And it was Mocha connection. There's been some updates and the network has been expanded to two places. One unit here and one unit here. I have an issue here, a problem. There's some problem with this cable. So I temporarily installed one Mocha unit here to create two separate networks. It's a second hand unit I found. And the problem is if I connect this cable to this, this splitter, the network flips out. Sometimes this Mocha unit finds those two and sometimes that one. But it works if I connect this Mocha unit directly to this cable and this cable goes directly to this splitter, then it works fine. But if I add a two-way splitter here that I tested with, the problem comes back. So it's something with this cable here. And this, in the future, the ultimate installation would be like this. Put back a two-way splitter and then put these four outlets in series with these mocker units. So when it comes to cable length, between this main mocker unit and these two here, is at least 145 meters or 475 feet. And I get the PHY rates about 3000, that's two gigabit per second. And when I connected this Mocha unit directly to this cable, and this was not here, I got the PHY rate of about 1500 between here and this one. So adding 30 meters to 145 meter cuts the speed in half. Something is not right here. So when it comes to the Mocha units in this network, it's of course these translite units. And then I found one unit from Verizon. It's the only one I found with four Ethernet ports and one is 2.5 gigabit. And the second hand unit I found is this one. It's an old one, I think it supports Mocha 1.1. But it's the unit that has the best port layout I found. It has four Ethernet ports, coax in and out, and DC 5 volt and Wi-Fi. But this is so old, I have not been able to log into the web interface. So I disconnected the antennas so no one can access the Wi-Fi. So this is the second installation. As you can see, it's much more cleaner. The difference with this place, it has two TV signal amplifiers and these two TV signal dampers, minus 10 and minus 6 decibels. The Mocha units are installed before this amplifier in series with it and also before this splitter in series with it. Another difference at this place is also instead of installing Mocha units in these TV outlets, we replaced two old phone outlets. The amplifier was located where the phone cable came into this place, so that made it simple. Between these two Mocha units, it's 
at least 200 meters or 660 feet of cable. And the PHY number I got at this place, if I remember correct, was 1500, so a connection of one gigabit. And that is surprisingly low when you think of the previous place. The cables was a little bit shorter, but there were a lot more splitters in between and outlets. So the lower speed I think is contributed by these two, but here one gigabit is good enough. The mocha unit used at this installation is almost this. It's the big brother, the Translite TL-MC85. The difference is that instead of two one gigabit ports, it has one gigabit and one 2.5 gigabit. And coming back to why I prefer the four port versions with two coax connectors at the mocha unit is here. Because the Verizon unit, we have to install a splitter here, but then we get four outlets. We bought this two port version before we knew about these phone outlets. If we knew about that, we would probably be buying the Verizon unit instead. Because now if we want to have more outlets here, we have to install a switch. So my conclusion of all of this is Mocha is a great technology where you have coax cables. No need to install new cables, just use the existing ones. The speeds are good enough, even with 150 meters or 500 feet, like 2 gigabit is possible. Uh, low latency, the high speed, so it's uh, good, you don't need to install Wi-Fi. So if you have coax in the walls, I highly recommend take a look at, at Mocha. The outlet I used was a normal satellite outlet. It was not marketed as Mocha or anything like that. If you want to get a good video about Mocha, I recommend Lone.tv's review of the Translite TLMC85 unit that I also used here in one installation. So Mocha works great in Europe. Highly recommend it. So in general, tips and tricks, replace the splitters with the same sizes of splitters and get the megahertz of the splitters over 1675 megahertz. And TV outlets, even they can look the same, they can have different damping TV coax networks. They are balanced somehow. It's not my area, so I'm not saying more. Um, I recommend looking at Mocha 2.5 adapters. They support up to 2.5 gigabits. And in computers, that's the new standard. But for almost any normal use case today, if you just want to plug in a computer for internet or TV or one gigabit is fine. When buying mock adapters I recommend Translite TL MC85 and the Verizon ASK MAE340. And the reason why is they have two or four Ethernet ports and one of them is 2.5 gigabits. And in the description of this video, I have a list of products that I, that I recommend. When it's coming to my own questions, do a mock adapter with two F connectors, like the Translite, when you can connect it in series. Does it add any decibel to the TV signals? If so, how much? Is it more the same or less than a two-way splitter? And the other question is my cable issue. Do someone have any tips or tricks or tests I can do to find out what the problem can be? So if you have any questions or comments or maybe answers to my two questions, you can write them down below in the comments area. And again, there will probably be a second mocha video in the future. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.